Well, class, last time, last time we talked about breathing. Today, we're going to talk about some simple stretching and movement activities to do in the morning. I think this goes pretty well with our first session on sleep health and that second session on breathing practice. I put these three at the start of our self-care December series because I think if you put a few of these into practice, just a few minutes in the morning and evening, it can have a significant impact on how you feel throughout the day. These three specifically, these three physical parts of self-care. If you have any questions at any time as we're talking, just let me know. We know it takes a moment for your messages to show, so I'll take pauses and wait for your questions. Our agenda, as you see, of course, will review briefly our lesson on breathing. We'll go into our lesson today on stretching and movement. I'll update the behavior chart with how you've been doing, and then we'll play Ace Attorney again. Uh, Sealsy Fish, you ask, what felony would you commit? Um, that depends if I could get away with it. Uh, I mean, it's apparently a felony. I was just watching a video. It's apparently a felony to take a lobster out of Honduras. It's a, it's a U.S. felony to bring in a lobster from Honduras. Apparently that's a felony you can commit. Bit Shepherd, you plead the fifth. That was actually what the video was about, Bit Shepherd. It was about exercising your Fifth Amendment right. Yes, indeed, I did. I watched that video. Thank you for posting. I just need to get this audio player to start shuffling the videos, the audio like it's supposed to. All right, let's begin. So, we'll review a little bit. We talked about diaphragmatic breathing. We talked about that muscle at the base of the lungs. How it works to pull the lungs down and open because we want to pull the air all the way down. We want to give ourselves the best opportunity and as much time as possible to pull all of that oxygen out and take all of that carbon dioxide back out into the air. So we talked about breathing more slowly and more deeply. Not breathing from our chest, which is more shallow and rapid breathing. but breathing from the abdomen, pulling air much deeper and slower. So we talked about that diaphragmatic breathing. We talked about sitting up straight with our aurora. Spitballs are, spitballs are not a good idea you might poke someone's eye out. We talked about this diaphragmatic breathing practice where you sit up straight, with your shoulders back but relaxed, with your feet flat on the floor, and we put one hand on your chest and the other hand on your abdomen, just below the breastbone. You do this so that you can feel how it feels to breathe from the diaphragm, how your stomach, your abdomen will pull out and retract back in when you breathe out. When you get a nice full breath, it's easier to exhale. And when you exhale fully, it's easier to inhale. So for this practice, and we can do this right now, you can follow along. It is a Four, two, six, practice it's called, where you'll sit up, nice and straight, feet flat, shoulder back, 
one hand on your chest, one hand up your abdomen, and you would inhale through your nose for four seconds, a count of four. You would then hold it gently at the top of the breath for two seconds, and then exhale through your mouth, through pursed lips, for six seconds. We have a little bit of a gra uh, graph graphic here, but I'm going to time it along. I'm going to give you a moment to get ready if you want to follow along with us, and I'm going to do this breathing practice. Just get yourself a moment. Sit up nice and straight in your chair. I think this will be a good way to start off our, our lesson with this review. Put one hand over your chest, the other hand over your abdomen below that. And I will try not to be distracted by the spitballs. And I'm going to say three, two, one, in. And on in, you'll breathe in through your nose, nice and evenly for four seconds. You'll hold for two and then out for six. So, three, two, one, in, two, three, hold, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that was pretty good. We're going to try and do a couple in a row. We're going to time that with the visual. Let's wait a moment for it to come back around. Three, two, one, in, hold, out, two, three, four, five, in, hold, out, three, four, five, six, in, hold, All the way out. That was just three cycles. One cycle is 12 seconds. So if you can do five cycles, that's one minute. If you can do 10, that's two minutes. I'd like you to try and do that tomorrow. When you wake up in the morning, Take your first 10 breaths like this, taking only 10 breaths in two minutes doesn't sound like a lot of breaths, but that's a much more normal, relaxed, full type of breathing. So let's try that tomorrow when we wake up, all of us, and we'll come back next time and talk about how it made us feel. Just 10 breaths in the morning can help you feel better. But now it's time to talk about stretching and movement. That is our lesson for today. Why should we stretch in the morning? Why should we get some movement in the morning? Does anybody have any good ideas? Helps blood flow. Very good, pirate. That's true. That's particularly important because for the last five, six, seven, eight hours you've been still. You've been lying still in your bed. Your tissues need that time to wake up and get the blood flowing. Take a look at this interesting little graphic here. This is what your tissues more or less look like. First when they're contracted like this, you see the fibers sliding across. You can imagine how knotted up and tense they feel when they're all pulled together. And then see them when they're wide open as they pull here. Think about how much more blood flow is going through them. And all the waste products that are flowing out. Everything that you've built up throughout the night. Much like with the breathing practice, 
A little bit of stretching in the morning can help reduce your stress, can reduce your low back pain. It'll help you wake up a little bit quicker and more completely, and it will help with your posture. Oh, eggs, you realize that you're getting old? Not so much, no. You're fine. In fact, you will feel a lot younger and stay a lot younger if you get a little, get a little daily movement, get a little daily breathing practice. And also suntan lotion, drinking water, and not smoking. Trust me, those three things will keep you looking and feeling a lot younger. But we'll talk about those topics some other time. Again, much like the breathing practice, not doing so can be an increase in your heart rate, can increase your blood pressure, can make it more difficult for you to fall asleep in terms of physiological effects, and an increased susceptibility to anxiety, less stress tolerance in terms of psychological effects. So we want to do both. We want to breathe deeply and more slowly, and we want to start our day off with a little bit of movement. So I'm going to show a little bit of a video that will demonstrate these things. I can find the video here. Here we are. No eggs, you do not drink the suntan lotion, you do not smoke the water, and you definitely don't stop breathing. Please do not stop breathing. So here's a little video that will play to demonstrate some movement practices that you can do in the morning. Simple, short, few minutes in the morning. Trust me, it will help make you feel a lot better throughout your day. No bit, Shepard. Do school. Brush your teeth. Get eight hours of sleep, not drugs. Oh, what am I going to do with you all? All right, let's watch this video. You see this right here. Again, just a few minutes. Most of these will be dynamic stretches, or at least the first half of them. These are stretches that are in motion, which are particularly good for when you wake up. If you try these, make sure that you don't feel any discomfort. If you do, slow down or don't reach as much. If you have an injury, talk to your doctor before you start a stretching or movement routine. I'm very brief in this video, but it will be available after the stream, both on Twitch and on the YouTube channel as will the breathing practice and our sleep health section from the first uh, self-care December day. Yes, indeed, that is me, pirate, my Superman costume. We start with some gentle but firm arm circles across the front of your body, reaching all the way up and down across your arms. You wanna get them crossed and pull the shoulders all the way around. and come around the other way, doing about five each way. Then you do them to the front, reach up and then all the way back as far as you can, getting your upper body nice and loose and limber. Yes, indeed, we're ferret bombed here. Then come across reaching from behind you all the way to the front, giving yourself a nice hug. Really pull your arms across and grab your shoulders. And then do some body twists, light twists, not pulling yourself too far across, five times each way. Again, these are in motion, they're not static, mo static stretches. Then roll your... Roll your neck around, nice and gentle. Five times across one way. And five times across the other side. <laughs> you little ferrets in the background, yes, yes. 
and some side bends with your arms over your head. Again, gently, lightly, this is first thing in the morning. Five each way, feeling the pull in the opposite side of your rib cage. Then roll your wrists around a little bit each way. Let me pause right here for that comment, Pirate. That is not the chair that I currently use. You don't have to worry about that. That's my old chair. That is in the little um, guest room that we are in right now that you see, where the ferrets sometimes get to play in. I just have that in there as a, a spare guest chair. I have a, a much larger chair for someone built more like myself, as you noticed. So don't worry about me. Now we're going to get down into the classic child pose. Get yourself set up, sit up straight, and slowly reach down with your arms up over your head. You don't need to do any exaggerated motion. Just hold here for about 30 seconds. And then we'll move into a leg stretch. Oh no, we'll start with Cobra actually. You see a good slight curve in the back, not going to an extreme. Just about that 30 seconds. <laughs> now we'll move into a leg stretch. Pull one leg in towards your groin and reach out towards the other toe. Remember, this is a leg stretch, not a back stretch. So you shouldn't feel any strain in your back. It should be all in your the back of your legs. Yes, indeed, they're very curious about everything happening there. What are you doing? <laughs> now we'll do a groin stretch. Some people do this a little bit too aggressively. It's just a light pressure down on your knees. And there they are. There Moki is climbing up to my shoulder, climbing up towards my head as she loves to do. Now you lie flat on your back and pull one knee up towards your chest. But one note, not completely flat. You wanna have a normal, natural arch. And swap legs. Again, not completely flat. You don't want your back to be in an unnatural alignment. Now we'll cross one leg over the other while sitting up. Bring your arm across. It should be a, a stretch that feels good. You should feel a good stretch in that side of the leg. Now one of my favorites, put one leg over the other like you're crossing your legs when you sit down and bring the lower leg up. You see where I'm motioning there? That's a really good stretch. It should actually feel good. And then swap. And when we're done, it only took about five minutes. Just a couple minutes of breathing and a couple minutes of movement start your day off a lot better and what do we finish off with of course you finish off with a little ferret play That is the recommended way to start the day, Bit Shepherd. Yes, indeed.
That is the way I recommend you start your day at least. So, what did you think? Have any questions, comments, concerns? Anything you weren't clear on or that you wanted to hear more about? Don't, uh, don't want your back to be looking like those ferrets, all bent like a question mark. That's normal for them, not for us. Yes, indeed, Bitch Shepherd, your back would love you to do those stretches. Again, it's just two minutes of breathing in the morning. Thank you for the gold stars, Bit Shepherd. You'll all get gold stars if you spend the first couple of minutes of your morning breathing for two minutes, stretching for a few minutes, and then if you do our sleep practice before you go to bed and you get a much better night of sleep, well, I'm betting that you'll feel a whole lot better through that next day. Trust me, I certainly feel better whenever I remember to do it. I don't always, that's okay. Sometimes we're just busy or forgetful. Sometimes we just got too much going on. Absolutely, Pirate, I am glad to do the demonstrations. Like I said, I'll put the video up onto the Twitch and onto the YouTube VODs. This lesson will be there. Our little infographics will be posted as well. I think it'll be a good idea if you take a moment to review that sleep health one. Put some of those tips down. Get a good night's sleep tonight when we're done. <laughs> 